Hey guys, so today Apple has released uh, some new iPads uh, and also some other interesting stuff but here uh, on phones, on all of their iOS devices I think uh, they have unveiled a new version of iOS which is iOS 7.0.3 and in this video I just want to talk about what's new with that release I haven't installed it at the moment uh, but this is just a video talking about what is new with this update when you install it uh, you can see I have to charge my device before I install it and all that stuff but uh, iOS 7.0.3 is uh, um, kind of like, I mean, you can hear on the name, it's not a super major upgrade like a 7.1 update or 7.2. Uh, so it doesn't bring super many more features, but it's a little bit like a better version of 7.0.2 It will bring a ton of new additions here in terms of bug fixes and improvements And uh, you just want to go over them here So first thing here is that they add iCloud keychain uh, keep to get, keep track of your accounts, names, passwords, credit cards number uh, On all of your devices, so this seems like this wasn't available earlier uh, and then it has added a pretty interesting thing at Safari, a password generator. So you can generate hard to guess passwords for different accounts that you have online. It will also update uh, some minor tweaks at the lock screen. So it will delay uh, display of slide to unlock uh, when you have touch ID in use. And of course, touch ID with the iPhone 5S, that is when you um, uh, can unlock the device with your finger uh, or make payments uh, with your finger which is pretty dope as well uh, and then it also adds uh, back the ability to search the web and Wikipedia from spotlight search which sounds pretty interesting and I probably want to test that in the video uh, fix an issue where iMessage failed to send for some users so bug fix improvements here another bug fix here improvement here it could prevent iMessage uh, fix a bug that could prevent iMessage from activating okay uh, improves uh, system stability uh, when you do use iWorks apps because I've been seeing some iPhones have been crashing and when they've been using those apps uh, f and make it like a blue screen uh, fix an accelerometer calibration issue uh, addresses an issue that could cause Siri and voiceover to use low quality voice fix a bug that could allow someone to bypass the lock screen passcode so I think that there was another way to do that but now they have fixed that one as well enhances reduced motion uh, enhances the reduced motion setting to minimize both motion and animation uh, so that's good if you really want to reduce that uh, fixes an issue that could cause voiceover input uh, to be too sensitive which is good, which is good, which is good. Uh, so many bug fix improvements here. Uh, updates uh, the bold uh, text setting uh, that to also change dial pad. Wait a sec. Updates the bold text setting to also change the dial pad. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, uh, that is good as well. If you do go into bold text, the dial pad also will be that. Uh, fix an issue that could cause supervised devices to become unsupervised when updating software. So. Many, many improvements here. Uh, seems to be a very, very nice update, 100 megabytes. So I will definitely will be installing this and probably check it out. So um, yeah, just quickly look here and informing you and you probably already have seen this. Uh, so um, peace out and it's all and enjoy. Have a good day.